Oh, mate, can you tell me what these people are protesting about? Do you mind? I'm just playing. Yeah, yeah. Someone used chalk to graffiti a wall. This obviously led to a major confrontation with the police. I mean, they were just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just pleased they managed to arrest him because he was putting everyone in danger with his chalk. Do you think people should have the right to protest like this? Sorry, I'm not in your tape recording what I'm saying. About the bombings, bombings. London, in bombings. London, yeah. In London, oh, they were wrong. Oh, good, no, it can be a setup, but oh, it was no good, good anyway. Oh, good man. 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 Oh, it just seems that, that given the history of the situation, given, given the way um, America has, has gone into other countries in the past and the way they've um, supported terrorist groups in countries, and it's just history repeating itself, the CIA putting that money in and, uh, and, and supporting those sort of groups. And I've no doubt that either it, it, you know, criminal negligence or criminal complicity, but one of the two, it's got to be money. 
uh, either allowed to happen or given money to happen, but there's just too many discrepancies in that 9-11 commission report. Yeah, you're right. There's something not right there, and the, the more people need, the more people need to hear about that. <laughs> You felt the laws of war. We're having a lot of fun. You guys are important. You guys are I suggest you go and read up on International Criminal Court Act 2001, sections 51 and 52. You take an oath to uphold the law, you should do that. <laughs> you have got a sense of humour failure. beyond the usual barbaric bounds of war. It is a legal definition growing out of custom and tradition supported by every civilised nation. It is an act beyond the pale of acceptable actions even in war. Deliberate killing or torture of prisoners of war is a war crime. Deliberate destruction without military purpose of civilian communities is a war crime. The use of certain arms and armaments and of gas is a war crime. The forcible relocation of population for any purpose is a war crime. I say Des Brown, Jeff Hoon, David Miliband, Margaret Beckett, Gordon Brown, Jack Straw, Tony Blair, shame on you! Yeah. 